Mm, well, he was the greatest graffiti artist. He was the father of them all. He, he was the beginning of graffiti, as far as I'm concerned. But meaningful graffiti. One word, as raw, like eternity, has far-reaching implications. I think it was great to see that round Sydney. It really was. It's inoffensive. It, it gave a message to some people. And written in chalk, a few people walk over it in a few days, it started to fade away, probably itself into eternity, with a bit of rain or, or wear. Um, in Arles, Vincent van Gogh had an idea of, of a, a yellow house um, in the sun where artists, an artist community could work and create and live together. And it took a long time for his uh, idea to come true, but it has now come true, and it's not Arles, it's in Australia. It's part of what I'd see as a sort of language of Sydney. You know, it belongs to the language of Sydney. The thing that really uh, drove it home to me was when uh, it was in the University Review. And um, that song sort of was striking. I think then it sort of entered into my work after that, really. To put it in as something, you know, it's something I sense eternities uh, going through, perhaps. When I was doing the big painting for Remo. We'd just draw in it. Well, and I think we'd painted it in the first sort of draft of it. And it was a huge painting, you know, it was a, uh, 20 feet long. I um, went, went to bed and was woken up the next morning. I'd left the radio on, fallen asleep with the radio on. I was about six o'clock in the morning, came a news flash that Patrick White had died, you know. And I walked downstairs and uh, I went in to look at the painting and, and the word had completely gone. It was just painted blue again. Tim, who'd been working on it that night, had not been happy with it and painted over it. 